I'm Brian Anderson at the table with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Our reporter is Allie LaForce. Here's the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. The foundation of this team, Middleton and Giannis, the three and the four. Drew Holiday out there with Grayson Allen. And it's Portis in at the center position, filling out the middle. And for Phoenix, Crowder and Aiden, the bigs. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt. And it's Bridges in at the three. Suns to start out. Ball against Holiday. Ball passes to Booker. Here's Crowder. Back to Booker. Can't connect from 13 feet out. And that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. Middleton against Crowder. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Ball finds Booker. Now Aiden, defended by Portis. And Aiden gets it to go. Yeah, Aiden just swallowing up the defender there and then completes the play. Outside Holiday. Bridges against Middleton. Pass to Portis. Down low. Shot clock at six. Now here's Booker. And he's in the books. Now one for two. Booker getting contact, still finding a way to finish through it. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Booker has been accused of having some empty stats before, but mostly because the teams weren't winning. You can see now that the, the talent has always been there, and the winning's coming along with it. Now here's Kumpo. Pass to Allen. Six to shoot. Puts one up from 19. Jump shot is good. <laughs> Once he breaks out the crossover, you just know something special is about to happen. The Suns have gone two of three to get this one going. Booker showed he still puts up numbers when his team is a legit contender, Brent. Well, he's always been a gifted scorer, and, and now him learning about the value of both ends of the floor, that's been amazing growth from Devin Booker. Now here's Bridges. Five on the clock. Deflected! And he's able to get it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. Now, if you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Ball against Holiday. to Kumpo outside six on the shot clock off and over Crowder Holiday passes to Allen inside goes back up Porta's shot is off we'll have a hard time shaking that one off perfect position plenty of space just clanked it two minutes remaining in the first two minutes Allen against Booker Back to Bridges. Aiden inside. Allen defending. Aiden, no good. For Milwaukee, they've gone one of four to start. Holiday. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. The Suns leading. Here's Booker. Hits the close range jumper. Booker's got his second basket. Or Booker being assertive on offense when the defense isn't playing him tight enough. He's taking full advantage. Outside Holiday. Pass to Kumpo. Up and over Crowder. 
Allen against Bridges. Releases. Oh, rejected by Aiton. So he has the size and can get up quickly. Aiton with the throwback. The Suns have gone three of seven so far. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Holiday up top. He's guarded by Paul. Pass to Portis. Here's Allen. Holiday with the ball. Let's go with a three. Oh, rejected by Aiton. To the middle. Crowder, the pass to Paul. Oh, great D that time from Portis. The Bucks trail. To the inside. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo. And that one goes in. Look, he's an MVP performer on the court, but Giannis and that leadership and attitude, he's a team first guy. And Phoenix has possession. Steps back and fires. And he drives in. Oh, and Giannis hammers it in. That's attacking the rack. Tentacupo on the take and muscled his way in. It's all tied in Phoenix. We've got more in store for you right after this. One thing that makes the Greek freak so dominant is he drives to score, but also to pass. He breaks it down for us. I'm a lot more comfortable. Uh, it's because my teammates trust me. My team trusts me. Grant, I love that Giannis is not worried about the numbers. I mean, B.A., he just wants to win. That's another thing that makes him great. Good. And if you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. All right, guys, what stands out to you from the Suns in this one? You can really see the strategy coming in. Get the ball into the painted area. Yeah, you don't see that all that often, getting down there and doing that much damage in a quarter. you got to respect the game plan. On the court for Milwaukee here in the second. Wesley Matthews out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And then there's Pat Connaughton, and it's Nuora in at the four. Well, you hear about the importance of confidence. You think that was something you always had as a player, Grant, or did you have to build that up? Well, I mean, success ultimately does bring confidence, and I had success, fortunately, at a young age. So you have to understand you have to always attack, and you always have to believe in yourself no matter what the situation. And so here's Phoenix after the Bucks picking up a basket just moments ago. From 18 feet away... They grab their own miss. A nice shot by McGee. And they seem to have a hard time picking good shots in the first quarter. But it's all coming together now for them here. Pass to Nora. DiVincenzo against Payne. DiVincenzo can't hit. The Suns have got two of three shots to go in the second. To the paint. And there's McGee. That one's good. On the assist by Payne. Just a much smaller defender on him. He does the exact thing at the right moment. Goes straight to the rim. Payne against Steven Chento. Good work defensively by Crowder. Well, we talk about the value of great rim protection. That's a shot he typically makes. Think about how tough this team is when Cam Johnson is out there and drilling shots. Back to Johnson. That one goes. Now he's one for two. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. DeAndre Ayton being the number one pick in 2018, his potential is Phoenix obvious. Five. With this team on the rise, he's looking to That's impose his, his will on a nightly basis. Ayton said, quote, I know how hard I work and what kind of a player I am. 
I'm trying Shooting to take over Milwaukee. every possession, Dante being more Shenzo. dominant every game. The line for two. Oh, scary thought, Allie. Thanks. First free throw is good. And Johnson's shooting is so important to this team, Brent. Well, B.A., that's the value that he brings, and they encourage him to do it. So if he's getting set up and he has room to let it go, Cam Johnson can punish you from the outside. Hood, he's checked in for Connaughton. Hits both from the stripe. And for DiVincenzo coming into the league, wanting to prove that he belongs, He's done more than that. It's about building his confidence now. Now here's Payne. To the inside. The putback. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. DiVincenzo against Payne. Outside, DiVincenzo. Knocks down the long Let's chain. Leave. Matthews got his first bucket of the game, Phoenix. and he's on the board for three. Phoenix calls timeout. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. And the Suns will go for a different look here. DeAndre Ayton, he's checked in for Crowder. Bridges comes in for Johnson. Devin Booker, he's checked in for Shaman. And it's Paul in for Payne. And the Bucks will go for a different look here. Portis, he's checked in for Anadokounmpo. Anadokounmpo comes in for Nora. Chris Middleton's checked in for Matthews. And Drew Holiday is subbed in for DiVincenzo. The Bucks have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Here's Anadokounmpo. And he converts the layup. This is what makes Giannis such an elite player, his ability to score in those difficult situations down low with lots of bodies around. Now here's Booker. Using his post moves to get the two points. Booker's got six. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Kumpo. That's fun to see the handles coming out there from a Tentacumbo. I mean, how do you stop a near seven footer who's got some dribble skills like that? Now here's Booker. The D's right on him. Pass to Aiden. Shot clock at five. Over Hood. And that one hits the back iron. The Bucks have gone four for seven in the second quarter. Holiday passes to Portis. And they pick up two. And the Bucks lead by one. All the way to the bucket. No resistance. Just swipe the candy from him. Paul with it. Guarded now by Holiday. Unloads from 13. He's now one for two with that bucket. And Chris Paul is so comfortable operating in the mid-range. Paul against Holiday. Oh, there's the alley! Giannis and Giannis, and Giannis with the jam! And every night there's something that Giannis does on the floor where you just have to put your hands on your head. Wow, what a move. And he gets it to go. Ooh, he has a lot of tools in the toolkit. That right there was just one of them. From deep three-point range. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer. But it's off target. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Suns ahead, leading by one. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks. I'm here with head coach Mike Budenholzer. Coach, how would you characterize the intensity level in that first half? Yeah, no, it's pretty intense. You know, both teams are getting after it defensively. Nothing's going to be easy, so it's the way it's supposed to be. Hopefully it continues in the second half. Thanks. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show.
For the Suns, the first quarter was pretty even. The period wrapped up with the teams on level ground and the score tied. They were slightly better in the second. Not a big difference between these two teams. Kenny, let's start with you. What did you think about the Suns? We have to love the second unit. I mean, the effort they display, they're doing much more than giving the starters a break. We're seeing real intensity from them, particularly on the offensive end. And Shaq, what do you think about Milwaukee? Well, I'll tell you what I saw in the first half, Ernie. Three things. Soft defense, not enough pressure, but they can still win this game. They need to ramp it up. Was that two or three? Doesn't matter. You understand, Ernie. got second half action for you thus far a pretty evenly contested game nice game great performance by Devin Booker I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths yeah this is going that they're not gonna play at anybody else's pace but their own here's Hanada Kumpo Bridges and Crowder holding down the forward spots. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt. And it's Aiden in at the center position, locking down the middle. So that's the lineup yeah, on the floor for the Suns. Well, you have to do way more than that to stop the MVP. Giannis just determined. And a huge sigh of relief for Bucks fans last year. Giannis signing a monster contract extension. He'll continue to be the franchise for years to come. And there it is for him. Extremely competitive game thus far. Yeah, six lead changes in total. I expect there to be more to come. Outside Holiday. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Up and over Crowder. Phoenix grabs the miss. You know, Grant, many wondered if Giannis would test free agency. Ultimately avoided all that drama. Yeah, I mean, he wanted to stay and build a winner with the Bucks, And you know what? He did just that, bringing home the NBA championship. What a reward for the fans in the city of Milwaukee and just tremendous character from Giannis. Ooh, Aiton with the block. Ball with it. Pass to Booker. Now Aiden. Five to shoot. Over Holiday. Got a hand on it. Get that out of there. That's all timing Phoenix right ball. there. Drew Holiday continuing hustle play. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And this is exactly why he's out here. In order to block shots in tight games like this. Johnson, he's checked in for the Suns. Payne comes in for Booker. And the Bucks will go for a different look here. Anadokounmpo is checked in for Portis. Nora comes in for Anadokounmpo. Connaughton, he's checked in for Middleton. And it's DiVincenzo in for Drew Holiday. 90 seconds into the second half now. And the Suns miss again. The third quarter has not started well. Just one of four. And the shot goes down. And the Bucks lead by one. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Here's Crowder. No luck on that one. And Milwaukee the other way now. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Anadokounmpo finds Allen. Rebounded by Payne. For Phoenix, they've gotten just one of five shots to drop since halftime. Right side, Paul. To the middle. Here's Aiton. Misses from close range. The Bucs have gone two of five in this third quarter. Pass to DiVincenzo. Anadokounmpo, outside. Here's Connaughton. Clock at six. Now here's Allen from behind the arc. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Allen. Shamit, he's checked in for the Suns. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Matthews, he's checked in for Allen. The Suns trailing. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. 
Hey, Brian, the Phoenix Suns are enjoying a renaissance. Big man DeAndre Ayton said, quote, from starters to the bench players, this team is well balanced and we compete. We challenge each other every day. Two minutes to be honest, the it's third. the best team Two I've minutes. ever been on throughout my career. Guys, they are confident. That they are, Allie. Thanks. Here's Matthews. Here's Nora. Offensive rebound. Pass to DiVincenzo. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Connaughton. Covered by Crowder. Second chance shot. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Aiden lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Aiden pouring a foundation there on the inside, just living in the paint. DiVincenzo against Payne. The 11-footer. Count it. DiVincenzo's got four points this quarter. And it's amazing. Neither team has been able to hold the lead for any length of time. Yeah, these guys are leaving it all on the floor tonight. Payne, the pass to Aiden. Outside Johnson. Banked it in off the glass. Johnson's got six. They keep capturing the lead and giving it back. We'll see if they can hold on to it this time. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. DiVincenzo. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's second personal foul. And it's going to go on Cameron Payne. There's another level to DiVincenzo's game. And it starts to happen when he attacks like that. Taking two shots. Shooting two. First one falls for him. Some changes for Phoenix. McGee, he's checked in for Aiton. Bridges comes in for Johnson. And it's Booker in for Shamit. And a new group getting ready for the Bucks. Portis, he's checked in for Anadokounmpo. Anadokounmpo comes in for Nora. Chris Middleton's checked in for Connaughton. And Drew Holiday is subbed in for Matthews. So he gets them both. 36 seconds left in the third. Now Payne. Pass to McGee. Outside Booker. Shot clock at six. Fires from deep. Got a piece of it. In transition. Here come the Bucks. On to Kumpo. Outside. Thirteen feet out. He can't hit that time. And we've just finished the third quarter. What a tight game we've got going. Bucks ahead, leading by one. And time for a short break. Stay right there. The fourth quarter is coming up next. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. On the floor for Milwaukee, starting the fourth quarter. Middleton is the three, with Giannis in at four. Rodney Hood is out there with Drew Holiday. And it's Portis in at the five, roaming the paint. And yep, it's good. Win or lose, this is the fight you want to see from your players. A great example out here of just a, a no-quit team continuing to compete until the final buzzer. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. 
I love great defense. Foul. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. Crowder outside. Rebounded by the Bucks. Well, he wants that one over again. I guarantee that. Nobody's even in the neighborhood. On to Kumpo. He's got it. Six of ten now. Yeah, Hood does a good job there of surveying the floor and being ready to deliver the pass. Holiday against Paul. Pass to Bridges. McGee with it. Inside. And Booker with the jam. Devin Booker at 6-5, cleared for takeoff. The Bucks trail. Outside Holiday. And here is Ana Kupo, covered by Crowder. Bridges outside. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock. Here's Booker. It's hauled in by Portis. And for the Bucks, they're shooting just 42% so far in the game. On to Kumpo. Oh, Giannis dunks it home. Feeling more and more comfortable in this offense. That's just Chris Middleton making a play. Pass to McGee. Bucks foul. That's his first person. The Suns making a switch here. Aiden's checked in. Allen, he's checked in for the Bucks. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. Ball against Portis. Just five on the clock. It's tipped. And here is Hanada Kumpo. Here's Middleton. Hold in by Paul. The Suns have gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Fourth quarter of play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. Up top, Crowder. On to Kumpo covering. Here's Aiton. And a nice finish on the layup. How about a pivotal hoop from DeAndre Aiton? Here's Milwaukee. They trail by one. On to Kumpo outside. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. And now we get a little perspective here on how the hustle game has been for the Bucs. We've seen them make the extra effort defensively, rotating, closing out airspace, and sending shots back. I also love the fact that they played with speed tonight. They haven't sputtered one bit, Mind constantly the getting out on Good the shot. break and creating opportunities in transition. The Suns have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Booker finds Bridges. Eight with it. Two Middleton covering. Pass to Paul. Ooh, good work defensively by Holiday. Milwaukee in the lead. Out of the Kumpo. Pass to Middleton. Booker against Out of the Kumpo. Here's Allen. Outside the arc. Crowder grabs a miss. Down low. Deflects the pass. And stolen by Otto DeCupo. Pass to Portis. Takes the three. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got five rebounds in the game. It's Booker on the wing. It's good. The assist that time for Paul. And the Suns lead by one. Man, I'll tell you what, the pressure is cranked up. Who better to call than this guy? To the right side. Here's
Here's Anadokounmpo. Solid That's shot from a distance of about 14 feet. Anadokounmpo's got nine points now in the quarter. Holiday against Paul. To the middle. Here's Aiden. Take steady nerves right there. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, Milwaukee. he kicks it up enough. Timeout called. Milwaukee. They're down by one. 51 seconds left to play in the fourth. And the loudest section get three t-shirts. Let's see who's the loudest. All right, time now to present our Let's new balanced player game. of the game. DeAndre Ayton. Yeah, he attacked the block all game and has been rewarded for it. The fundamentals that he displayed are why he got whatever he wanted out there on the floor. Hey, let's face it. The defense had no answer for him. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Mike Wooden was going over with his team. He told them, quote, it all comes down to the next few minutes. That's what will decide this game. So step up. This is your moment, not theirs. Inspiring words, guys. And Good job there, Allie. Thanks. Dancer. Phoenix calls timeout. They trail by one. 43 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Forty-three seconds left in the final quarter. And it's in. And Bridges elevating this game. Woo. Here's Hana de Kumpo. Charity stripe shot, and Aiden pulls it down. So it's Phoenix now, and I think we'll see him milk the clock a bit. Yeah, seems like the heady move right now. Phoenix can get down on the block. Giannis is going to use that length defensively and get his hands all over any shot attempt. Here's Aiden. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. It's Booker on the wing. Booker drawing the double. Back to Paul. Cash! Chris Paul has made plenty of huge shots in his career. Easy to see why he's so revered. Timeout called. Milwaukee. They're trailing by three. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Let's show them why we are. Portis, left side. Ayton with the defensive effort. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those, so they get into the penalty. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. And so here's Phoenix. It's a three-point game. And that's an intentional foul. Third team foul. At the line for your sons, Chris Paul. Two shots. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. Just awesome to see Chris Paul continue to play at such a high level. Certainly a first ballot Hall of Famer. And he's able to hit the second one. And that gives him a four-point cushion. Nine seconds left to play in the fourth. Middleton from the outside. It doesn't go for him. So a close game sees Phoenix taking this one. I'm sure they would have preferred a blowout victory, but a win's a win. And, and so true, but you have to credit the crowd for giving them such a big boost toward the end. It really kept this team's energy high. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now.